living in hiding. Somewhere in this suburb is a refuge for members of the LGBT plus community. Five years ago, Benson was kicked out of his home by his father when he found out he was gay. He was just a high school student. The new bill affects me a lot. For example, I can't walk anywhere. Even our neighbors threaten to kill us. I'm really not safe here. There's a lot more homophobia. I don't feel safe. Following a suspected case of pedophilia between a teacher and a young boy in January, a homophobic fever took hold of the country. The authorities and the media blamed this criminal act on the whole of the LGBT community. At the end of March, the Ugandan parliament voted in favor of a new so-called anti-homosexuality bill. We are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. You will have no space in Uganda. If the president decides to approve this text, Benson risks spending the rest of his life in prison. He could even be condemned to death. Homosexuality is already technically punishable by life imprisonment, but courts don't actually issue that sentence in practice. Benson goes from refuge to refuge with his most precious belonging, a photo of his mother who continues to support him. My mother was always there for me. Even when my family found out about my sexuality, she hid me from my father. Everyone was chasing me, my brothers and all my relatives. Only my mother was by my side. In 2020, a police raid targeted Benson's shelter and the residents were sent to jail for 50 days. Henry, a human rights activist, was among them. He's preparing to move out to avoid an arrest. These are, have been our rooms. Everything is here, waiting for... We are waiting for money to relocate. Neighbors have attacked our members and they have beaten them seriously. So now our landlord knows us, even the neighbors know us. So that means that we are in danger and I cannot keep the committee members in danger. In 2009 and 2014, similar bills were voted on before being scuppered by the president or the constitutional court. Each new law brings with it a wave of hatred. But Henry continues to fight. He goes every day to places that accept the community. They think that being a gay is not African, and they are saying that uh, it's an abomination to, to stay close to them. So that's why they don't want us. Henry runs his own small clinic in Kampala. It's one of the very few that are LGBTQ plus friendly, but patients are rare. Because people are in fear, they say that now, what if I go at Coast of Medical Services and they raid me? They take me to police. So we've lost some of our clients due to the um, situation. Far from shelters and NGOs, Amanda and Harry, two transgender women, are trying to leave the country. One of them is a sex worker. She has already been assaulted several times. Since the proposed legislation, their friends and loved ones have distanced themselves from them. Currently, I have issues with my boyfriend. He's not comfortable at all now. He's saying, no, you see now, when they get you, of course, they have to get me. I'm hiding like all the time because I'm, I'm not even working anymore. So our life is in danger, but we have nothing to do. We have nowhere to run to. Where can we go? But the last time I was arrested, it was very, very brutal and very bad. I was beaten very seriously, even undressed. Like hundreds of others, Harry and Amanda are now seeking asylum in a Western country. The new bill must still be signed by the Ugandan president before becoming law. On the South African TV channel, Ugandan president Yuwari Museveni explains that he considers LGBT plus people to be deviant. The mistake of Western countries, because they come and want to force us to say homosexuality, oh yeah, that's how you get now a backlash. They are the ones who are provoking all this. This presidential opinion is shared by a majority of elected officials and even by the Ugandan Human Rights Commission. Within the penal code, there is a section called Offenses Against the Order of Nature, which provides for punishment for homosexuality. It would be arrogant to question the wisdom of parliament when they came up with that bill. But according to NGOs, the constitution protects above all the integrity of all citizens. Claire Biaurgaba, an activist and lawyer, has fought against these bills for years. So I believe Ugandans have been taught to hate. We've been radicalized to fear um, a community that has done nothing wrong. Now, anytime this government or members of parliament want to distract Ugandans from something, either corruption, scandal, they bring up an anti-homosexuality bill. 
If the law comes into force, human rights defenders could turn to the Constitutional Court, which has already rejected a similar bill.